Project Zomboid has an iron core. The only way to save is by quitting the current session. Part of what makes Zomboid so intense is that once you get infected and die, your character is lost forever. Finding some trash can candy could never feel so exciting otherwise. However, saving the game in various spots will appeal to some, especially those who are having a hard time getting into PZ due to the learning curve regarding the wide variety of tasks and paths that your character can perform in travel. Whatever your reasoning, this is how you back up save files. Keep in mind that save files may only work on their specific versions of the game, as Project Zomboid is, at the time of this video, still in open beta. Your saves may not work on future updates. First, you have to have already played a game session for the save game folders to generate. Once you have done so, navigate to the operating system drive letter, users, your user account, Zomboid, saves. In this folder, whatever variety of folders you see will contain your saved games based on the type of game you have chosen to play. If you are playing a custom sandbox, those saves will be stored in the sandbox folder. If you have multiple survival playthroughs, those games will be saved in the survival folder. The save folders are titled by the date and time that you last exited the game of a particular session. If you rename these folders, you can see the new save game title next time you play. Perhaps you may want to title your save game after your character's name so that you don't get confused if you have multiple playthroughs going on at once. Once your character dies, however, the game world and all of the structures that you created will still exist, but you'll need to create a new character to play within it. To back up the game so that you don't lose your character if you die, simply copy a folder from within the game type saves directory and place it anywhere else on your system. To keep things simple, I create my folders right here in the game type directory and label them according to my preference. In this folder that I create, I then paste the save game folders and label them whatever I like. The dates can get confusing as to which save is which if you take long breaks between playing. I like to log my in-game daily progression based on how many zombies I've killed. To reinstall a saved game, copy the folder from your safe location. Navigate back to the game type folder and paste it. That's it. Launch the game and you can play onwards from whatever point you have backed up these save files. If I die with this character from here onward, I can copy and paste the backup folder once more and try again. Navigating back to these folders every time you want to save the game is annoying at best. To be able to back up saves as quickly as possible from within the Zomboid Saves directory, right click on a game type folder, select Send To, and choose the desktop. From here, you will be able to quickly access and back up the game saves. To back up a save, navigate to the Operating System Drive Letter, Users, Your User Account, Zomboid, Saves. Open the game type folder, copy the save folder, create a new folder, paste the save inside. To reinstall the save, copy the backup, go to the game type folder, paste the backup inside. Create backups at any point. If you die, reinstall the backup at any point. Create a shortcut to the game type folders for each session that you want to create backups for. This will save you a lot of time if you are trying to save frequently. Simply right click a game type folder and send to desktop. This has been a Gamer Poets tutorial, Project Zomboid, how to save your game. For those who have felt that this tutorial is too fast, a text version is provided in the description. I'm not sure how many Zomboid tutorials I will have, but I will assume that there will at least be a few more. All tutorials on the channel for every game are saved in their proper playlists. If you like the video, share it and let others see it. As always, I am Michael of Gamer Poets. Thank you for watching.